Welcome back to Travel and Taste with Nick. Today I'm going to review the Qantas Founders Museum located in outback Queensland in a town called Longreach. On this day we booked and paid for the Qantas Founders Museum's Platinum Package, $200 including in-depth tours of a multitude of aircraft as well as behind the scenes access that you don't get on the regular tour. They should all be the same, however we think they might have just put whatever advice they need to get to the Well, when you're in school, we're always looking for bars. It's a great job being a tour guide. You get if you can afford the cost of the Platinum Package, it's one thing that I highly recommend. It was worth absolutely every penny. The flagship of the entire museum, in my opinion, is the Boeing 747-200 proudly on display that was fully donated by Qantas at the end of 2001. No worries. So that there's a tailplane running through the back of the aircraft. Boeing 747 has got to be one of my favourite planes. It reminds me so much of my childhood travelling around the world on the Boeing 747 in the mid 1990s. It absolutely blew my mind that the black box and data recording devices were located above a toilet in the rear of the aeroplane. These spiral staircases were a classic feature of the 1970s Boeing 747 and something that I think makes these older aircraft absolutely timeless. Here's something that you can only get when you're on the Platinum Tour at the Qantas Founders Museum. A guided tour inside the cockpit and the ability to interact with all of the controls. Once again, I think the Platinum Package is the absolute best value for money. Included in the price of your ticket with the Platinum Package is the opportunity for the Boeing 747 Wing Walk. 
You can buy this separately with other tours, but I think it's actually better value to have it thrown into your platinum package. Lockheed Super Constellation was one of the only planes in the museum that was not actually part of Qantas's fleet. This one was rescued rotting in a field in the Philippines and was lovingly restored by volunteers and then given to the museum. actual first Boeing 707 ever purchased by Qantas and in service for many years. This one was rescued from a hangar in England, lovingly restored, just enough so it could fly back to Australia when it was then donated to the museum. Yep. Yep. I'm good. Oof. Ow, oh, man. Just please don't knock yourself out again yeah. nowadays, though. Oh, you're missing your path. These fins on the top of our wings, they're called water generators. So what they found at both of their wind tunnel tests was these were the first planes to step back wings, so the aerodynamics was still a bit of a mystery. They found they were losing air and therefore losing lift off the wing. Mm. So what these do... After this jet was taken out of service with Qantas, it was actually retrofitted and made into a private jet available for charter. The layout of the plane has actually been left in the private jet configuration.
Platinum package included a $15 voucher to use the local restaurant for your lunch. So after using the My Voucher, I only ended up spending a couple of dollars for my meal. Then it was on to the Qantas Museum itself. Check out this blast from the past. A recreated upper deck, what it would have looked like on a Boeing 747 for Qantas in the 1970s. So impressed by this Rolls-Royce RB211 jet engine. What a marvel of engineering. The final part of our Qantas Museum experience was the heritage listed Qantas hangar built by the founders of Qantas in 1922. Imagine what it was like flying in the old days before pressurised cabins. This is the very first model of plane to include an onboard toilet. I had an absolute blast at the Qantas Founders Museum and I would have been there for at least seven hours. For $200, the Platinum Package, I highly recommend and I think it's totally worth it. Thanks for watching.